Um, Please tinker away. Yeah, what we're going to do is this. I, I want to review um, PHP and PHP include files and all that. What my activity was, was for you to take one of your labs that you did and break it down into uh, a separate PHP page for mobile versus for desktop. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this with um, David's lab three, I think, maybe, or maybe lab four. I don't know, one of them. We'll do it for one of the labs. And, and I'm doing it for a couple reasons. First of all, um, a lot of folks did a good job on the labs that they've turned in. So don't take this as me criticizing the other folks, you know. Don't be like those folks that, like, if they make dinner and you compliment them on the turkey, they say, what, you didn't like the mashed potatoes? So. <laughs> Just because I'm complimenting David doesn't mean you other folks didn't do a fine job. I'll, I'll say that right now. Um, uh, I think my defensiveness comes from me having two kids, and you need to compliment them in the exact same measured amount. My, my younger daughter, in fact, with my, when my older daughter fell and got stitches, and got a popsicle for it at the, at the hospital. My younger daughter wanted to fall and get stitches and to, to get the popsicle, so got to be even all the way around. Uh, but uh, David uh, did a really good job, and, and I think it's worth looking at. And, and we're going to see how we can take what he did using client-side tools only and make it work with server-side tools. Um, give me a second to download. Um, the version that I want. And Again, I, I hope you don't mind me talking about you. At least I'm not talking about you behind your back. I'm talking about you with you right here. No, no. But whatever you want to dissect, I'm, I'm willing to yeah. learn bigger oh, and better things. This is more of a personal thing. Uh, David uh, comes from, kind of from the graphics uh, design area, and so he he doesn't have like the programming background. So he hasn't taken any of the programming classes. So um, part when you look at it, part of the reason it looks good, I think, is because he has that background. I mean, it's really, really some really nice looking web pages. But he's, he's then gone and worked incredibly hard to pick up the programming pieces. And he actually took this course before and he's auditing it currently. Um, just because, again, you know, he, he, you know, that was sort of, at least my understanding, was his first experience of programming. After he went through it once, like, okay, I got so much of it, I want to go through it again and see what more I can get. So he's done a great job in these classes and he's in... Um, one of the other classes as well, so I'll, uh, that's my um, preface to this, okay? So let's look at this. And first of all, this will give a chance to show off some of the things. Let's make sure this is the one that I thought it was. stuff is about as fun as grading gets because <laughs> you get to see some cool things and some, some cool content area and so on. All right, here's a page that was for one of the labs, lab three, I think. And if we look at it, here we go, and he has a little home page with a little navigation there. And like some of those are external links. So like if you click on those, if I'm understanding it right, the top layer is his links. The other layer, the second layer, is uh, external resources. So like you go down here, you go to that external resource and so on. So that's pretty cool. All right. 
And if we view this in a mobile environment, our trusty HTC hero. Alright, that's what it looks like. So, mobile <coughs> versus desktop. Notice that navigation is different. Uses a drop down instead of the buttons. And the color looks different. The one thing I did not, I don't recall. Say I don't recall is how you scroll on the emulator. But that's how you do it. One thing I don't recall is if there's like different content in the two version. Okay, doesn't seem to be just a different appearance, but that's fine. That was all that was required for that lab. All right, um, let's take a look first of all at the code and, and review some of the old topics that we had, and then we'll look at breaking this down into PHP stuff. So, I'm only going to do one of the pages. That should be uh, enough. But, um, well, I'll do at least one of the pages. We'll see how long this goes. All right, if I open up this page and look at it, let's look at the, the pieces that he has. First of all, he has his two fixes for earlier versions of the browser. Adopts a mobile first philosophy where we have our rudimentary CSS and then we enhance it if we're on a bigger screen. Here's a little bit of JavaScript that he has in there adapted from one of my examples where we swap images as the screen gets bigger or smaller, I think. Is that what that's doing? Yeah, it does swap to pictures on the outside the building to the inside. Oh, okay. Okay, there we go. Inside of the building now. Alright. has a little bit of JavaScript for rotating the background color. I don't know if I'm big on that or, or not. I mean, I've said too many nice things about you today. I've got to find, oh, no, no. Gotta find something to criticize. No, I, I can always right. uh, learn by example here. We have two divs, or he has two divs here. He has a class of drop-down and a class of menu. Those represent the two different navigation schemes. And if you look, what he has in the CSS for this for the mobile, he makes the bigger nav disappear. For the bigger one, he makes the oh, there we go. <coughs> he reverses it and makes the menu, in other words, the, the horizontal collection of links disappear or, or appear, and the drop-down menu disappear. So again, the the the. Progressive enhancement, you start with a base style sheet and then you add on things as you go across. And the rest of it is, you know, is pretty, 
how do I want to say it? It's pretty much following the stuff that we did in class. So what I like about this is it's sort of like a whole package. You know, it, it looks like it's completed and it looks really good. So it, it took the stuff that we went in class and sort of went the extra mile for it and did some really different things as far as the menu goes. Now, a problem with this is, I don't know if I'd call it a problem or not. Well, I just did call it a problem, so <laughs> we'll stick with it. An issue with this is, notice that both sets of navigation get downloaded every time. All right. So there's some content that is not going to display on the uh, on the desktop or the mobile, and but it gets it gets downloaded anyhow. All right. And again, depending on the specific content, that can either be a big deal or not such a big deal. All right. If we go to the approach of having a distinct desktop versus mobile site, then we can eliminate the duplicate, the duplicate content and just have the one set of navigation get downloaded uh, for each thing. That will lose the ability, by the way, that when this guy shrinks, we switch navigation. So we'll lose that, we'll compromise that ability a bit because if we're only sending down the one set of links, then we can't turn off those links if the, the window gets smaller. All right? Okay. So, let's go and play with this and make this into, and at least make one of the pages into a PHP page. Again, how do you make it into a PHP page? To start, it has to have a PHP extension. All right, so that's sort of the starting point for this. So I'm going to go in and show file extensions. I'm going to go copy this guy. And I'm going to make it. apps.php All right. Should still work, all right? Now, I'm going to go and What am I going to do? I'm going to go and I'm going to create another folder. Yeah, I'm going to go create another folder. Assuming you can still create folders in 23rd or whatever this is. folder. And I'm going to create another folder, now that I know how, called Includes. Alright. I'm going to go in and edit this. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do um, the browser sniffing or not the browser sniffing, the user agent detection, which is a similar concept, to determine if we are at if we are um, on a desktop or on a mobile device. So I, 
can go in and generate the PHP code. And save it to the desktop. And I can take that code and pop it into my PHP file. So I'll go and edit this guy. I got my big old block. I'm going to copy and paste into my apps.php. <coughs> I'm going to do this at the very beginning. Why do I need to do that at the very beginning? Okay. Why do I need to do it first? You set those to set a variable. Pardon me? Are you going to use it to set a variable? I will probably use it to set a variable, but that's not why I have to do it first. It needs to know where to set, uh, where to set the first command. It needs to well, it does, but why does that need to be the first command in there? It has to be before the header. Because how are you going to know where you're going if it doesn't direct you to where you need it to be first? Um, more or less, uh, the, the more precise answer is, is that once you start responding to the client, you can't redirect. Okay, so if I were to put this HTML tag, if I were to copy this and have it up there, then I would have already sent that HTML tag to the client, which means I can no longer redirect. So as long as I haven't said anything to the client, I can redirect. Now, I'm going to go and I'm going to redirect to what? Now in this case I have a different folder that's called mobile. So I'm going to send this guy to mobile slash apps.php. Alright. And I'm going to save that. And I forgot to copy that, so let's go and do that. Right. The mobile version, I don't need this code. And I'm just going to put a nice little title in here that says mobile version. And I'm going to put a desktop version in the other one. So I haven't changed anything really yet. I have just gone and made two copies of it, put in the code to do the redirection, and made a little change just so I can make sure the redirection's working. All right. Um, I think we are ready to go and try and test this. So let me go make sure everything's saved. And let me go here. And I'm going to go into my web server's root folder, CINETPUB WW root, and get rid of all this stuff. And I'm going to copy the contents of that folder into here. Don't you like, it, it prompts me to copy files in there, but it let me delete without any question. Uh, that's interesting. Wait a second. Yeah, wait a second. All right. 
Now let's go and test this. Localhost slash apps.php. How do I know that? Well, localhost, because that's the name of my web server. What's the name of the PHP file? Apps.php. And there we go. All right. And we have our page. All right. Not done with it yet. All right. But that piece of it's working. Remember, I, I, I say this, you know, I don't know how many times per semester. But when you're doing something, it's best to do a little piece of it at a time. So in other words, right now, this isn't where I want to end up. But at least if I can check to make sure the redirection is working, um, I, I'm moving in, in, in that direction. So I can go and I can test this in the mobile emulator. And I'm going to tell you right now there's going to be a problem. That way I don't have to, like, lie and say, oh, I knew it was going to do that. I really do knew, know that it's going to do something wrong. Okay. What did it do wrong? Images broke. CSS is different. Doesn't look like it has the right CSS. All right. Why do we have this problem? Where does that mobile live? It lives in a mobile.php. Let's look at this apps.php file. This apps.php file says that the style sheet is named mobile.css. When I refer to mobile.css, where is it expecting to find that? In the same folder. It's not in the same folder. Where is it? It's in a folder up. Right? So, what I could do, and we'll do this in steps, because one of the, one of the main points of this example as compared to the example we went over on Monday, is the fact that I'm going to put things in different folders. Why is that significant? What's the, what's the advantage of putting things in different folders? It keeps everything organized, you know, all the typical reasons. But with websites, there's even a better reason. I can actually create a mobile subdomain then and route mobile people to, instead of lorraineccc.edu or www.lorraineccc.edu, I can reroute them to m.lorraineccc.edu. And that's what you notice a lot of times if you go to a, a site. Uh, I'll bet ESPN when you go to them, if you type in yes, www. Yeah, there, finally. Actually, it's, there's two. Because the, they're a subdomain on whatever, go.com. So mm -hmm. it's m.go.com. Yeah. And then there's ESPN.com. So we're really getting So if I have it in another folder, I can create a subdomain via the web server software. And that will make my life all the easier. But the thing is, is it's no longer in this directory. So none of these style sheets are going to be in that directory. And none of those other files are going to be in there. So what do I do? How do I say it's up a folder? I do dot, dot, slash. Dot, dot, slash. Dot, dot, slash. Dot, dot, slash. Anywhere I refer to one of my file names... I'm going to do dot, dot, slash. Here, that said images. All right. So, if I'm in mobile and I want to get to the images folder, I have to go up a folder. It'll take me to there. Then down to images. So... That's represented by saying dot, dot, that takes me up to the web server's root, then slash images, that takes me down to the images folder. So now we should have better luck. And sure enough, there we go.
and I would assume our desktop version still works, which it does. Actually, are we set? I don't think so. I think yeah, I don't think so. The background because that JavaScript. Oh, because yeah. yeah it's Good still point. Oh, duh. I have to copy it over. Yeah. All right. Now we're back in business because now we can find it can find those files. So, one thing I want to stress is again the navigating around from folder to folder on the web server. If it's in the same folder, there's really nothing special you have to do. You just put the folder name. Oh, I'm sorry, the file name. All right. If it's in a folder underneath it, you just put the list of folder names till you get to where you're at. All right. So, let's put a hypothetical step for us here. If I have this, this is my web server's root. And I have a file called apps.php here. And I have a folder called images. And I have an image there. I have another folder that's on the same level of Im as images called mobile. Dot, or mobile. And I have a, a, a page called apps.php in there. Okay? From within this one, it's in a folder underneath the folder that this web page lives in. So to refer to this image, I would say images slash me.jpg. One thing that is a forward slash, by the way, even though you might say Windows is a backslash, this isn't Windows. This is HTTP protocol. So it's a slash like that. To get from here to this file, all right, I have to first go up to the web server's root and then go down to images. So in this file, it would be dot dot slash images. Don Huffman always does a lively lecture talking about squirrels and how squirrels run around the branches and squirrels can't jump and all that. But if we, talk, if we look at it in this term, if this is our root folder, this is our images folder, and this is our mobile folder. To go from a file in here to a file in here, we first have to go up to the root and then down to images. So sometimes it's helpful to see a diagram like this. They, they, you know, they call these things trees, you know, directory trees. And the bottom, the, the baseline is the root node. All right? And you have to traverse around the branches of the trees. That is, I can't jump directly from mobile to images. I have to go up to the root and then down. If it was in another folder still, I'd have to go up the root, down the images, down to whatever that folder is called. If I was buried a couple levels deep in here, and I wanted to refer to an image, I'd have to go dot, 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 slash images. Just four dots. Well, dot, dot, slash. Dot, dot, slash. Dot, dot, slash. dot, dot, dot yeah. And then images. So in a nutshell, dot, dot takes you up a, a, a directory. The folder name takes you down. And if you think about it, it makes sense, right? Because in this structure, each directory only has one parent. So like folder is only underneath mobile.